this is where you want to go. So I'm going to show you around. We just made it after five hours, about five, hour, five hours in the train. Uh, we're gonna go to the hotel, uh, which is one of the like cheapest hotels in the city. So I'm having high hopes. I hope uh, it's a good one for the price, and I will let you know how I found it. Anyways, the train site, the train station looks nice from the outside. Um, let's go back to the beginning. So we took the taxi to the train station. We bought our tickets and waited for the train. Not this one. It was supposed to be there by 10.30 a.m., but it arrived 30 minutes late. For all information about prices, time and departure stations, here's the website. And the train arrived here full, especially second class. There's many more available places in first class, so unless you're coming from Algiers and you're arrived early to book your place, it would be complicated to travel in second class. You only have to pay an extra 300 Algerian dinars to travel in first class. Here you can find plugs to charge your phone or laptop. We bought a two-way ticket and it cost us 107,000 Algerian dinars. Taxis cost almost the same amount of money. But I prefer the train because it's faster and much more comfortable. Now for every single time I'm traveling, I'm asking my followers on Instagram to make choices for me. So I asked them, do you want me to take the train or the taxi? And they chose the train and then I asked them do you want me to travel first class or second class and they chose first class, thank god. So if you want to vote for my next travels, make sure to check my Instagram and vote for the choices you want me to make while I travel. When traveling in first class you get free wipes and water. There's also a small table and more space unlike second class. Make sure to bring your favorite snacks or a movie you want to watch and something to keep your children busy, like coloring for example, as you can see with my niece. Now, I had no idea what to do once in Iran, so I was making lots of research, but you don't have to do it because this video is the perfect guide for you. They do have sandwiches that you can buy on the train, but I made mine from home. Just in case you can, I want to let you know that it's an option. So about 4 an hour health later, we are in Iran. Now let the journey begin. Hi everyone, so we just made it after five hours, about five, hour, five hours in the train. The hotel is about 10 minutes walking from the train station. Uh, so yeah, it's a good way to kind of explore the city while, you know, getting there on the first day. Then we made it to the hotel. We got a triple room for a very decent price that I will share later, but it's very clean and that's a huge plus. Yeah. So after a very well-deserved shower and some rest, um, here's the hotel, it's in the very heart of the city. We're gonna go to explore, you know, the city a little bit to see what we can do on an afternoon and uh, yeah. Walking in Oran is like walking in an open-air museum. I mean, look at all these buildings. First stop was the library, which was originally a church. From this angle, it reminds me of the religious complex in Cairo. It looks very similar. Unfortunately, it was not open, so I cannot show you the inside. But the outside is so beautiful. I just want to say that walking was probably, probably a terrible idea. I'm so tired, especially that yesterday I went to the beach, so that was tiring. Uh, the day before I did the cleaning of the whole house, so even though like the city be is beautiful, consider taking a rest instead of uh, walking. So we just made it to Abdullah bin Salim Mosque, which was a synagogue, um, actually the largest synagogue in North Africa, converted to a mosque. So this is definitely worth a stop. Um, yeah, and then let's go to the next stop. minutes walking from the synagogue you will find the national theater here and uh, unfortunately yeah it's closed to the public uh, but if you're wondering what it looks like from the inside maybe you should um, check out my Constantine video because I did go inside and showed you, showed you there 
Uh, there's also the museum here, which is called Ahmed Zabana. It's also closed because of COVID. Uh, but yeah, so if you're visiting when it's not COVID, maybe uh, you should add it to your list. Let's go to the next stop. Right next to it, there's the Opera House. Apart from the taxi, there's also the tram that you can take, uh, like I said, to uh, move around the city. Yeah, very accessible. Now, when it comes to finding hotels in Oran, there's different options. The most obvious one is, of course, booking.com. So, most of the hotels listed there are four stars or five stars hotel so that's definitely not a budget option what i would recommend is um searching in google but also on facebook so you only need to type i'm out of breath <laughs> you only need to type hotel Oran, uh, and you'll find different options so what i did is i called many hotels asking for their prices um so the thing is with budget hotels they only speak arabic or french uh, so maybe you want to be in contact with a local that's going to do the calling for you and asking. But yeah, to be fair, I did find on Google one hotel or two hotels that are cheaper than the hotel I'm in currently. But uh, I read a couple of comments that it was not that clean. And uh, yeah, so I prefer to pay a tiny bit more to have the, the clean aspect. Yeah. Our next stop is uh, Palais du Bay. It's like the Palais of the Day in uh, Constantine. Uh, so yeah, let me let me just show you around and tell you a little bit about it. Garanteta or Kerentika, as they call it here. So you can either order a sandwich, which is recommended, or a slice. Now, because I was not hungry, I ordered a slice for the sake of showing you, but it was so yummy. There's other street foods that you can find a little bit around the city, such as Maguda. So make sure to ask a local where you can find one near you. So around 15 minutes walk from the hotel, we are in Front Mer, one of the busiest areas in uh, Wuhan. And uh, yeah, you can just, you know, just enjoy the walk, sit somewhere or get some ice cream, which is what we're going to do now. Transportation is very easy, whether you want to take the tramway, a taxi, which can be also very cheap, or um, walk-in in the city center. Taxis here are very affordable, and for our next stop, we decided to have dinner in one of the busiest food areas in Oran. It's called Al-Aqid, and tomorrow we will be eating traditional. 
So we made it very quickly to Al Aqid and it cost us around 150 dinars, which is very cheap. There's many options of restaurants and I personally found an Instagram account called Eat Test Oran, which does many reviews on restaurants. And so it helped me decide as a non-local. I'm a huge burger fan, so that's what I ordered for dinner. The food was nice and so was the restaurant and the staff. What I really love about Iran is that it felt so safe. I was not cat cold during my whole stay. Not even once, not at night, not during the day. I posted about this on Instagram and many female followers confirmed that they also felt safe when visiting Iran alone or with a female friend. For me, is a huge plus. I've definitely felt less safe in other Algerian cities. So at night, we waited for a taxi to go back to our hotel. Good morning everyone, I'm so tired but today is day two and we're going to be exploring one of the busiest markets in uh, Oran and before we do that, let's see the hotel's breakfast. I'm going to share the hotel room fees in a moment. The hotel breakfast is very basic, just coffee, milk and very basic stuff like croissant, bread, eggs as you can see. But I think for the price, it's very acceptable, so you can, for example, sleep here and then have your breakfast in a coffee shop. I personally didn't mind, as my usual breakfast is coffee and croissant. And here are the prices that I will also add in the video description. For our first step today, I wore comfortable clothes because there's a lot of walking involved. So our first stop for today is in Medina Jida. If you're looking for some bargains or you know, you're looking for a place where you wanna shop like a local, this is where you wanna go. So I'm gonna show you around very quickly and then we're gonna see some street food because that's you know, the very best thing to do in every country you go to or any city you go to, eating street food. Here you can find almost anything for a decent price. So make sure to protect yourself and wear a mask. From local clothes like jibba to to traditional clothes like kaftan that makes you feel like a royal. And there's many, many things that you can buy. I personally stopped at a table that sells pajamas for about $2. The price is perfect and I ended up buying a couple of pajamas. So guys, we just made it back to the hotel and it's there. So actually, Medina Jida is like one minute walking from the hotel, which is nice. Um, so I think it's a very good location for a very good price. One safety tip, um, so uh, let me just hide under some shadow. One safety tip is if you are wondering if it's safe to you know, take your mobile out, uh, if it feels safe, then be cautious. If it doesn't feel safe, then it's not safe. So avoid taking your mobile out if the street is so empty or the people don't look, you know, as safe people but other than that it's good i mean you've seen me um, filming in most of the busy areas just make sure to hold on very tight to your phone and uh that's it for lunch we went to a traditional restaurant that looks so beautiful so not only will you be eating yummy traditional food but also you will go back with some beautiful memories try some Algerian traditional food but also specialties of Iran there's this cool restaurant with like nice decoration that I'm trying it's called Khaymet Ibn Shibrun I'm ordering some food and we'll let you know if it's worth it but um, I do recommend trying some regek, some local couscous uh, where, there's a lot of food but anyways ask them to recommend something uh, bring a local but yeah I think it's really cool and if you want to experience like the local kind of experience it's a really nice place but I will let you know if the food tastes nice or not I ordered harira and burek. It comes with homemade bread. We were not very hungry, but there's many more dishes that you can order. Just make sure to come with an empty stomach. After a nap in the hotel, it was time to visit the one and only Santa Cruz. We made it by sunset and it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. From here you can have a look on the whole city, but also enjoying the sunset here is priceless. Hello, everywhere you've been. Hi everyone, 
so we just made it to Santa Cruz and you've seen that the scenery is beautiful I'm gonna give you all the tips that you need to know yes because we're walking up and there's a fort that we're gonna see but I did not come along so I'm gonna introduce you to someone really nice who we came with to Santa Cruz if you come here earlier you can actually enter both the fort and Santa Cruz and I think they close at 7 p.m. If you don't have a car, it's not practical to take the taxi as they have to wait for you. Another option is to take the tourist bus that has many stops in all of the touristy places, including Santa Cruz. It has two departures, 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. And it stops in every location for about 15 or 30 minutes. It costs 300 dinars. So we just made it to Santa Cruz and I met Nassim here who was so nice and uh, yeah I'm very happy that wherever I go I do meet amazing people we enjoyed the sunset we took a lot of pictures a lot of videos so yeah go and uh, check him out check his Instagram out the view at night on the city is as equally as beautiful and now it's time to go back and have dinner I found on the same Instagram account, Test It All, a place where you can eat Indian food on a budget. Bombay food is in the very heart of the city. Tonight we're eating Indian. It's very affordable and tastes very, very well. It actually tastes very good that the next morning before our departure, we ordered takeaway sandwiches to eat them on the train. We all enjoyed our meal there and that's definitely a place I would go back to again. And that was all of the things that you can do on a weekend in Oran. And goodbye Oran, you were good. On the way back home we were very exhausted so we slept almost all the way and we made it at night back to Blida.